Portrush Theatre Company love this time of year, as they know that the season of Panto is here. But alas, there's a problem. A new show in town. They're calling it COVID. It's bringing us down. Our producer Andy is scratching his head, while Ian, our dame, lies asleep in her bed. The cast, they're hopeful and trying to gauge when this fabulous cast can return to the stage. Never fear in the meantime, I say with a hush, there are plans afoot by those folk from Port Rush. The theatre cannot let Christmas appear without bringing you all some great Christmas cheer. So sit back and relax, gather your children around to listen to stories of Christmas we find. Let's open these pages and take a good look and we'll adventure to Christmas through the eyes of a book. Good evening, everyone. It's Mrs. Holly Berry here. And tonight I've chosen a poem to read to you. And it's called The Barn. And the person that wrote this was called Elizabeth Coatsworth. I'm tired of this barn, said the colt. And every day it snows. Outside, there's no grass anymore and icicles grow on my nose. I'm tired of hearing the cows breathing and talking together. I am sick of these clucking hens. I hate stables and winter weather. Hush, little colt, said the mare, and a story I will tell of a barn like this one of ours and a wonders that there befell. It was weather much like this, and the beast stood as we stand now, in the warm, good dark of the barn, a horse, an ass, and a cow. And sheep, asked the colt. Yes, sheep, and a pig, and a goat, and a hen. All of the beasts of the barnyard, the usual servants of men. And into their midst came a lady, and she was cold as death. But the animals leaned above her and made her warm with their breath. There was her baby born and laid to sleep in the hay, while music flooded the rafters and the barn was light as day. And angels and kings and shepherds came to worship the babe from afar. But we looked at him first of all creatures by the bright, strange light of a star. 